So hello friends, uh, today I am going to explain how we solve system of linear equation by Newton Ratchet method. For that purpose I have taken one question here, uh, x square minus y square is equal to 4, x square plus y square is equal to 16. This is non-linear system of equation and uh, initial root I have taken x naught is equal to y naught is equal to 2 root 2. So my friends, uh, this is the most easiest topic actually. Uh, and uh, the procedure is uh, very easy just uh, something uh, one formula you have to uh, re recall uh, and that formula is uh, the iteration formula is x n plus 1, y n plus 1 matrix is equal to x n y n minus z n inverse of f at x n y n and g of x n y n. So uh, I will explain uh, what is the mean of this uh, What is the mean of J? See, uh, you know X uh, and to solve this, it means we want to calculate X and Y value. And for that iteration formula is X and it's in matrix form. So X n plus 1, Y n plus 1 is equal to X and Y n minus J inverse. What is J inverse? J is just Jacobian. Jacobian of these two. Uh, how, how I will tell? And f multiplied with f of x and y n into g of x and y n. So uh, what is Jacobian? Jacobian we know, Jacobian of two function f and g is determinant of fx, fy, gx, gy. This is Jacobian. And uh, if it is 2 cross 2 matrix, then we know what is J inverse. J inverse is, uh, I will explain by a simple. Method. So, uh, one more thing are required here. If uh, A is a matrix A, B, C, D, then what is A inverse? Then A inverse is uh, D, A minus B minus c upon divided by a d minus b c this is inverse of a if it is a 2 cross 2 matrix because uh, we are going to solve 2 cross 2 matrix always so better you know uh, what is a inverse of that so directly you can calculate <coughs> now i'm going to explain the procedure procedure is very simple whatever equation given always they give they will give two equation First equation you represent by f. So what is f? f is nothing. x square minus y square minus 4. What is g? g is, take this side, second equation x square plus y square minus 16. So easily you come to know about f and g. Whatever the first equation given that you take everything one side and denote that one by f x y the function of x and y and second equation uh, whatever given take one side and denote that one by g this is your f and g now f and g you know so your uh, next step is just calculate its Jacobian what is Jacobian of that Jacobian of that means f x what is fx? 2y. What is fy? Minus 2y. What is gx? 2x. What is gy? 2y. So what is uh, j inverse? j inverse is 2y 
เทียนเหมือนเทียนเอ่อสวยเทียนใหม่สวยมันจะไม่เป็นไหวฟูเล็กสวยนึกฟูเล็กสวยนึกตัวตัวเอ็กเอ็กสวยนี่คือเจคูบีน inverse j inverse b can be calculated now here one more thing I have to tell uh, j inverse b can be c a l c u l a t e each and every point uh, uh, just be calculated j inverse here now I will uh, go for solution so what is uh, x not y not we have so it means we have to calculate first iteration means x1 y1 so what is x1 so x1 y1 is Just put value n value zero. So x one y one is equal to x not y not minus j value at j inverse at x not y not multiplied with function at x not y not and g at x not y not. Just Put the values and we calculate uh, x1 and y1. So how we put the values? So x1 y1 is x0 is 2 root 2, y0 is again 2 root 2 minus j inverse at 2 root 2 2 root 2. What is the value? J inverse is say eight x y eight x y means eight what is x value x not two log two y value two root two sixty four so minus one upon sixty four now when you put value here y value two root two so four root two 4 root 2 minus 4 root 2 4 root 2 multiplied with uh, f at x not y not so what is f this value when you put 2 root 2 and 2 root uh, at uh, x not y not what is the value what is f0 f0 is 2 root 2 square means 8 minus 8 minus 4 so value is minus 4 what is g not g not is 8 plus 8 16 0 so value is uh, minus 4 and 0 so x1 y1 is 2 root 2 2 root 2 minus 1 upon 64 multiply this is uh, 16 minus 16 root 2 this is plus 16 root 2 so what we get Y1 we calculated. 
Uh, now, uh, in place of X naught, Y naught, just you have to go for the excitation. Means in place of X naught, Y naught, we have to choose X one and Y one to calculate next iteration. Uh, so what we do? Just we take n value one. So what we get? X two, Y two is equal to X one, Y one minus Jacobian inverse at X two, Y one. Function value at x1, y1 and g of x1, y1. Just you calculate the x2, y2 and then then go for x3, y3. Maximum they will ask you about to solve up to third order uh, equation. So I think if, uh, third act, up to third iteration you can get the answer. Uh, third or maximum four. So please uh, do it and uh, uh, hopefully you understand. So this is the easiest way. Uh, only one formula required to solve this one. So if you know this formula, easily you can get the answer. So thank you for watching and please share and subscribe.